so what is the point where the p load will act it will act at a distance x from zero point load zero load point and with it will act at a distance of say we can say that this as x1 at a distance of x1 from this point maximum load point or w load point or w point load point <clears throat> so our next step first step was to calculate p from the given w in triangular loading and the next step is to locate the p from zero load point i am taking the zero load point as reference we can take as w point as a reference so if we take zero point as a reference then uh, i told you in this point that from zero load point the distance of p is 2 by 3 of l here l i am telling again that here l means the span of the load the length over which the load is acting from the zero load point to the maximum load point in this case l is 5 meter so 2 by 3 l will be equal to 3.33 meter the distance of this p from zero load point means if p is acting somewhere here the distance of this p from this point is 3.33 meter simply now we want to determine the other distance which is x1 this one so whole span is 5 meter this x comes to be 3.33 meter if we div, uh, subtract this 3.33 point from 5 meter then we get this x1 is equal to 1.67 meter as i calculated here that if this from 0 to this p point p load point is 3.33 then what will be this distance x1 this will be equal to 5 meter whole load span minus 3.33 the distance between zero load point to the p load point so this will be 1.67 meter the total distance now we can draw the free body diagram of the beam as shown on this page the free body diagram of the beam is shown here this is the beam a point of the beam b point of the beam where the sports were here there was a roller sport and here at this point b there was a uh, sorry at point a there was a pin support and at point b there was a roller sport so for pin support we have two reaction one vertical and one horizontal and for b support we have only one reaction because that is a roller there is only vertical reaction that is by a load p is acting at a point which is this point is zero load point this point is w load point so our p is acting at a distance of 3.33 meter from zero load point and at a distance of 1.67 meter from maximum load point or w load point uh, the next span is 5 meter and this rest of the span is 5 meter so we can proceed when we get these geometrical uh, values we can proceed by applying the equations of equilibrium to solve for these reactions because we have three unknown reactions one is horizontal reaction at a that is ax vertical reaction at a that is ay vertical reaction at b that is by we have total three unknowns one two and three we have calculated three unknowns for these three unknowns we must know three equations of equilibrium luckily we have three equations of equilibrium that is summation of forces in x in x direction is equal to zero but we take the convention that rightward x forces are taken as positive but we considered we assumed in the start of the question or in this free body diagram the left word so left word x forces are taken as negative we can write minus a x is equal to because there is no any other force acting in x direction so this is the only force and it will be equal to zero this zero is transferred here this is zero so then a x will be equal to zero we have determined the first unknown that is a x our next duty is to find a y and b y how can we do that we can do by applying other two remaining equations of equilibrium the next equation is summation of forces in y axis is zero but we will take upward forces as positive so this a y is acting in upward direction it will be positive this b y is acting in upward direction this will be positive but 250 is is directed downward why this is directed downward because this load this gvl was acting in downward direction 
if this was supposed to act in act in upward direction then this p would have been in the upward direction so we would have written it as positive but here it is acting in the downward direction we will write it as minus 250 kN here then we got first equation uh, we transferred this to minus 250 to the other side of the equation and it will become here plus 250 now we have two unknowns in this equation and we cannot solve this equation uh, for two unknowns so we have to take uh, the support of any other equation we have any other equation and other equation which is summation of moments at any support point that is a or b equal to zero i am taking a as a reference so moment along point a is zero how many forces are causing moment about a this a y this a x p and b y a y and a x will not cause any moment about point a because they their self are passing through this point so their moment arm will be zero their moment moment will be zero because moment arm affects the moment and whenever a force is multiplied by the moment arm it gives us moment so if any force has a moment equal to zero then its moment moment arm equal to zero then its moment will be zero so let's go with the equation that summation of moments about point a is equal to zero or we can write it as summation of clockwise moments about a equals the summation of counterclockwise moments about point a so how these force both forces because moment created by these forces is zero due to their moments arm because their moments arm are zero so only two forces are rotating this beam about a one is p this is rotating it, it in this direction that is clockwise direction this b y is rotating this beam in this direction about a that this will convert it in this direction and this p will rotate it in this direction this will be clockwise this will be anti-clockwise direction so this will cause a clockwise moment that this will cause counter counterclockwise moment what is distance of p from this a that is known as moment arm of p that is mp so clockwise moment about a is due to force p at a distance of mp of p from a equal to counterclockwise moment is caused due to by about a then counterclock by into mby mby means moment of b from point a the distance of by from point a vertical distance perpendicular distance sorry perpendicular distance from this point where the by is acting to the point where a exists a exists at a distance of 5 plus 3.33 plus 1.67 plus 5 means 15 meter the whole overall span of the beam so mp is equal to this 5 meter the distance of p from a is 5 meter plus 3.3 meter that equals 8.33 meters and the moment of b y from a is 5 meter plus this plus this and plus this mean whole length of the span of the beam so whole length of the span of the beam is 15 meter we have got both moments of the forces of p and b y we know p that is equal to 250 and we have to determine b y because we don't know b y and a y in this equation if we determine b y we will put value in this and we can get value of a y so P is 250, moment of P is MP 8.33, BY is unknown and moment of BY from point A is 15 meter. So we will rearrange this equation and we found that with the help of calculator BY is equal to 138.83 kN. So we will put this value of BY in this equation. This value of BY will be transferred to this equation like this a y plus there was a b y we will write 138.83 in this equation in place of b and equal to 250 this 138 will be converted to other side with the transfer to other side with negative sign and a y will be equal to 111.17 triple 1.17 kilo newton now we have found a x one reaction this is done we have found the b y second reaction this is done and one remaining is a y and we did mind it here we have we had three unknowns and we have calculated all of them
there uh, this doesn't matter that what is your arrangement of finding the reactions you can apply this moment equation first and then you can apply fy you can apply fy first and then you can apply fx this depends upon your strategy that how you want to solve this question this question would have been uh, of same length if i apply moment equation before this y equation so it doesn't matter the uh, that how you arrange the uh, equilibrium equations the met the original thing that matters is the correct correction uh, the amount of uh, amount of accuracy which you adopted in your question so in the final version you will draw the free body diagram of, of the beam but with the actual loading actual gvl was 100 kN per meter at this point this load was 0 kN per meter and this x ax we found here as 0 this ay we found here as 1 triple 1.17 kN this is shown here and this by is found to be 138.83 kN thank you very much guys Uh, again i request you in this at the last of this video that please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications of my newly uploaded videos thank you very much from zishan akbar